What's going on everybody? Football Rob here breaking down the Minnesota Golden Gophers. They defeated the Northwestern Wildcats on Senior Day. The last chance for this senior class to perform in front of their home crowd. They won 29 to 12. It was the 30th win for this senior class. They improved now the uh, Gophers due to 8 and 3 on the season. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, first of all, I want to know, do you guys like this um, decorative little sheet that I've put on my <laughs> on my table? Do you, do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. I figure holidays coming up, a little decorative something something. I'm not good at that stuff, so let me know if it looks good, if it looks bad. I don't really have any idea. So, you know, this game gives me an excuse to put on my boxing gloves because this game reminded me of like a heavyweight fight where you know Minnesota was very offensive early they were jabbing they were going with the one two they were having their good defense you know the peekaboo they were they were doing everything and they were catching Northwestern with a lot of shots a lot of power shots um, but it seemed as though they weren't giving the knockout blow. They, 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 were, they were given a lot of good combinations, but they weren't just clobbering the guy when the time was right. So because of that, Northwestern hung in there a lot longer than they should have, and they started gaining momentum because, you know, that put-away shot was not given until late in the fourth quarter when Mitch Leidner ran in for touchdown on the QB keeper. That was kind of what salted the victory away. But for the, the entire second half, there was like this power struggle, and Minnesota couldn't quite nail the... the, the they couldn't put the nail in the coffin. And uh, that's what made the game a little too close for comfort. So, you know, as I take off my gloves now... You know, uh, like I said, it was 12 nothing at halftime. And I really liked the way the defense performed, Minnesota. You know, they, they sacked Thorson seven times. And a number of those sacks, at least four of them, came on third down. Uh, those were the things that really helped uh, Minnesota when their offense couldn't quite get it in the end zone. You know, they, they stuffed... Uh, what was it? 2 of 13 on third down. Northwestern was 2 of 13 on third down conversions for the, for the game. And because, they could, they, because Minnesota consistently got off the field on third down, that's what was able to allow them to stay in front from wire to wire. Um, you know, I look at this game and I see Justin Jackson. He had his moments, the uh, running back for Northwestern. 22 carries, 90 yards, a touchdown. Um, you know, it was kind of like bend but don't break. And they stuffed him on a two-point conversion to make the score 15-6. to That was the, uh, first, the first touchdown that Northwestern scored was a uh, Jackson run. So once that touchdown happened... You know, if they got the two-point conversion, you're talking about 15 to 8, and it could be a very close game. But because, you know, Minnesota's defense stood tall in that third down conversion, then that was it. That was, that gave them a little breathing room. But then on the ensuing, the ensuing kickoff, Jalen Myrick, he, he fumbled a kick return and gave Northwestern the ball. Perfect opportunity almost in the red zone, but then eventually, you know, eventually the Minnesota defense stood tall again and, and bailed out the special teams unit, which also they missed an extra point. That didn't cost them, but, you know, it's food for thought. Edmund Carpenter, usually a uh, very, very good kicker, missed one, whatever, things happen. But, you know, all in all, I'd say that... Uh, Minnesota had control of this game, except for you know a little few parts of the of the second half, and then um, you know they they did what they had to do against a lesser team. That's the that's the kind of 
that's the kind of game I think they would have lost if they were playing a, a better team. But, men, uh, you know, Northwestern, they are what they are. They have a losing record now. So this is a game that uh, Minnesota, on paper, you thought was going to win. But next week, they're playing Wisconsin. That's going to be another big test for them. They would like to end the season 9-3. and That would be a big improvement over what they did last year. Uh, there's still a lot at stake. It's a... It's a much better bowl game if you can go out with a bang. They're not going to win the Big Ten, but at least if they have a huge signature, th this could be their signature win for the not only this season, but I think the entire senior class, if they could come away with a win against Wisconsin. Based on what I've seen of them this year, I don't think they're quite up to the test, but hey, that's why they played the game. So, you know, I'm de I'll definitely be interested to see what they could muster up against the Badgers. So that's all I have for this report. Thank you for tuning in. Football Rob, signing off.